In question 6, the problem statement says two adjacent angles of a parallelogram have equal measure. So two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are equal. Find the measure of each of the angles of the parallelogram. So here's a figure of a parallelogram that I'm going to use for the solution. So we are told that two adjacent angles of the parallelogram have equal measures. So let's suppose that in this parallelogram angle A and angle B they are equal. Okay, so let's start with this assumption that angle A and angle B are equal. And using this fact, we have to find all the four angles of the parallelogram. Now, we note that angle A and angle B, they are adjacent angles in the parallelogram as well. So their sum must be equal to 180 degrees. So angle A plus angle B must be equal to 180 degrees because they are adjacent angles in the in the parallelogram. So not only are these two angles equal, angle A and angle B, their sum is also equal to 180 degrees. So this means that in this equation, I can write angle A and then instead of angle B, I can write angle A again. So angle A plus angle A is equal to 180 degrees. And this means that twice of angle A is equal to 180 degrees or angle A is 180 by 2 and 180 by 2 is 90. So angle A is equal to 90 degrees. And this means that angle B is also equal to 90 degrees. So angle A and angle B, we can conclude both of them must be equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so this is actually quite straightforward. If the two angles are equal and they are also supplementary, then both of them must be equal to 90 degrees. And now angle C and angle D can be easily calculated. Angle C, this angle here, is equal to the uh, opposite angle A and angle D which is this angle here angle D must be equal to the opposite angle which is angle B and this is because opposite angles in a parallelogram are always equal okay and this basically means that angle C is equal to 90 degrees and angle D is also equal to 90 degrees so basically angle C is also 90 and angle D is also 90 degrees. So essentially this means that all the four angles of the parallelogram are 90 degrees and hence the parallelogram ABCD it must be a rectangle. So ABCD must be a rectangle. That's what we can conclude. So if two adjacent angles of a parallelogram have equal measure this can only be possible if ABCD is a rectangle and this means that all the four angles of the parallelogram will be 90 degrees. So that completes question number 6. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.